outfit and the way I look keeps changing between modern, like cyber, like superhuman soldier with all this weird equipment to, to like a medieval times, mm -hmm. like a Viking or something like that, like really, um, like, you know, wearing the, the animal skins and like some heavy stuff on my shoulders. Mm -hmm. And I feel this, this masculine energy, this really strong, like a man's body and an energy of uh, men, like mm -hmm. this. Focus on that energy. See what it's trying to show you. God, like it wants to like there's like this aggression building up within this man's like chest and he just wants to expel that mm -hmm. very good allow that to happen allow that aggression to be expressed now I see you uh... I'm fighting with uh, another Viking looking like guy and it's uh, all this uh, that energy is within this body mm -hmm. this man's body and it's really strong it's like furious it does, it's not afraid of anything and it's uh, like dominant and unbelievably strong feel that energy is it your energy or does it feel foreign to you i don't know it feels kind of mine mm -hmm. the coming good. from the chest area very good continue if you knew where you were now as this fight between these two men is happening, where are you? There's some kind of, uh, I wanted to say a tournament or something, but it's it's a more like a practice. Uh, there's, uh, we're fighting for, for like a serious fights but nobody's killing anybody. It's like a practice. So, yeah, it's a, like a practice fight. Mm -hmm. And so from where is this aggression coming? If you knew. It's just a, it's just a energy within the body. It's like this vital energy. It's uh, It has everything in it. It has... So, aggression, it has compassion, it has uh, wisdom, it has so uh, like this, it's very vital and uh, but strongly feels strongly male and it feels strongly like charged for for a fight for like mm -hmm. when you work out and lift weights and you feel that energy build up in you, it kind of feels like that. Mm -hmm. Like you feel your body is so strong and you can move mountains with it or something. Mm -hmm. Very good. Is that energy something you want to tap into? Yeah, I need some of that. Very good. Tap into that energy and take whatever you need. It's yours to take. Take whatever you need for whatever purpose. I need to be stronger mm -hmm. on this energy and I want to feel free and this energy can help me feel free because that's like a, there's no fear in it. Mm -hmm. it, feels, it feels amazing, it feels so strong and amazing and it like fills up my chest. 
I feel like so, so strong from it. And how can you apply this energy today in your life? I'm just going to be able to be more active and I don't know. It's it's physical, but it's also mental and it's like spiritual. Mm-hmm. It's a very uh, very strong energy of uh, like this drive to succeed, drive to persevere, like this strong, healthy energy. Mm-hmm. Feels really good, and I experienced this before. I did experience this before. Mm-hmm. Tell me about it. I experienced uh, I experienced this before, like accessing past memories of past lives. I felt this before. That strong, vital energy of this man's body. Mm-hmm. And like this is just not afraid of anything. It it feels really good. Mm, Very good. Tell me what else you notice about this scene and about this man. What else can you learn from this? Like this... uh... I don't know, this person is so fully engage with life and it has uh, it doesn't um, stagnate it just goes with the flow and it it's so strong and it always succeeds it's like oh my god wow Mm -hmm. this is really nice and it's uh, it's like uh, I'm kind of seeing this man in this so lifetime of I don't know if it's a, exactly a Viking or a knight or something you know, in those terms and uh, he's like in his prime and it's really strong and amazing and he can like the, it's the main deal is like this this person is not afraid of anything it's it's like amazingly strong and everything. I know I keep repeating the same mm-hmm. stuff, but that's what I see. Very good. Significant. <laughs> Very good. Now step into that body fully and tell me, as this man, what happens next? How do you live your life? Um, I think there is a This, I see kind of like a gathering, like a meeting. And there's a lot of, uh, a lot of men there. And there's a debate where to go next. Like conquer new lands or something like that. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, I am this this man who's gonna be. In, like he he's like the one of the main dudes, I would say. Like the um, he's gonna be like the, one of the captains on the ships and stuff. But it's uh, very good. These are rowing boats. These are like these uh, rowing boats, and you have to row. And everybody has to be strong, and it's uh, it's a lot of hard work. But this this just makes you stronger, mm-hmm. and uh, it like makes you almost numb for, for, to the cold of this of the weather on the sea. And everybody is strong. We're going on a on a quest. Mm-hmm to conquer another land and to 
guess to I mean, take it? these people's stuff. <laughs> you want to take these people's stuff, no matter what they say. <laughs> Just because we can. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Tell me what's your and name we are not name. afraid and we don't care. We don't give mm -hmm. a damn. We have the the power of the gods is with us. Mm -hmm. And so why is it that you want to conquer land? Don't you have a land of your own? That's what we do. We just go and find new lands and explore them and bring more treasures and stuff back to where we come from, mm -hmm. to our kingdom. We are, we are the conquerors of this, this world. Mm -hmm. We're not afraid to travel on the seas and oceans. And we've been everywhere. Tell me something about the land that you live in, about that kingdom. It has a lot of mountains. Mm -hmm. It's cold. And it gets foggy a lot. And we farm land. And we hunt. And we use the animal skins for our clothing. And we build uh, our homes and of wood. We use wood. There's a lot of beautiful forests here. We use wood and we produce, uh, we can make uh, weapons, our own weapons and iron and copper. Mm -hmm. We have all these things and we conquer and bring more treasure. And it's a, uh, it's all about feeling that, that energy, being strong and fearless and just going for it. Mm -hmm. I see. So Pretty tell strong. me a little bit about yourself, about your family. I'm in my 20s, like 26, 27, I think. Maybe 28, I don't know. And uh, I have a wife. And and a child, and uh, and I'm and I'm the soldier. I'm like this warrior, and we go on these trips, and we explore, and we find new lands, and we go back and forth, and we make like a kind of colonies of this. Uh, lands we would so uh, that didn't happen at the beginning but now we do that we leave uh, some of our people there to be in charge and to bring our beliefs and our traditions to these places and make them our own tell me something about some of the places you've been to? Been to many places, cold places, hot places, and many people Which speaking different languages. Out? What place stands out for you the most? I see Russia. I see Mongolia for some reason. Mm -hmm. I see the two 
Burgslands. What the Black happened sea. There? Did you meet the people that lived in those lands? How did yes, that go? Yes, anyway. And we fought with them, and we conquered them, and we we killed a lot of people there. They were fearless fighters. Mm -hmm. And uh, we took some of them as slaves, and we we brought our people to settle around these areas. The land is rich, there are rivers, there is the sea. So we can, we have access, we have boats, ships, galleons, and they, they take us everywhere. We're not afraid of anything, we're, we're or just this power is with us. This mm -hmm. is like a like a force from the gods, and it's with us. And we conquer, and we pillage, and we take, and we we have our own beliefs. We don't uh, we don't believe into this these other beliefs. We laugh at them. The Christians, we laugh at them. They Talk crucified. What do, you what do you believe? We have gods. And our gods protect us. When you're on the sea, you have you are protected by one god. When you're on the land, you are protected by a different god. Mm -hmm. When you're sick, you call upon a goddess. Very good. What is your name? Uh, I hear Thor the Brave. I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's great. Very good. Now let's move ahead to a significant moment in that lifetime. As I count from three to one, three, going ahead now in time, two and one, be there. Tell me what's going on. Well, I'm witnessing, uh, I'm in, I'm in another fight. I'm, uh seems like our settlement was attacked and uh, the, ma the majority of the men were gone and I'm hunting and I hear I hear the, the noise and I go there and I fight I fight the attackers and it's uh, there's not enough men in the village, but the women are fighting too. It's not uh, our women are not hopeless. They know how to fight with a sword. They know how to kill with a knife. They're not afraid. And uh, we are fighting with these attackers, and they. They set some houses on fire and uh, they captured me, they captured me. Mm -hmm. And who are these people? I think it's the Turks, I don't know. They look different than us, mm -hmm. they have different outfits and came on horses mm -hmm. and the 
this was a revenge. And now I'm being dragged. Are you the only one that's taken? No, there's some others. There's some other men and some women. And they're taking us. Uh, see myself all, all filthy and I have a chain on my chain on my neck they're dragging me like a dog I'm going right now I'm going with them because I I'm uh, there's too many of them I can't do anything I have to I have to evaluate the situation and I have to figure out how I can escape from here or something. What's gonna happen next? I don't know. So where are they taking you now? I mean, uh, I'm in this dungeon and I hear people screaming and moaning. But I'm, I'm by myself in this cage. It's dark and filthy. But I feel my, my energy is coming back to me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I will do something, I don't know yet what, but I will not rot here in this cage. Yeah, very good. Tell me what happens next as time passes. Um, they take me to this uh, to the king or I don't know how you call this guy it's the guy in charge and uh, he's saying That he's gonna kill my family and have me watch it and things like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking around and he doesn't have my family. Mm -hmm. So How he's does he communicate with you? Do you have a, a common language or a translator? Yeah, there's a translator. There's a translator. Is he one of you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's a traitor to me. Mm -hmm. What happens next? He can... He can torture me, he can do whatever. I'm not afraid of this man. I have to... I have to escape. I have to figure out a way out. They want us, uh, they want to break my spirit. They want to starve me and make me weak. But for some reason, I still have my energy, still have my power. And uh, I'm not, uh, I'm back in the dungeon now and And I'm planning escape. I'm just planning to go for it. They, they have some religious uh, practices. So I'm gonna make a break while they're doing the practice. They do a lot of it. Mm -hmm. What is your plan? I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do this yet, but uh, I will. And the moment I said that, I see that I grabbed the... Somehow I was able to grab the guard by his neck. Mm -hmm. 
and I strangled him through the cage. And I grabbed, I was able to walk and open the cage. I'm fearless, I don't, I don't fear anything. I'm opening the other cages. I'm opening all the others, I'm letting them out. And we, uh, we break through this uh, prison and there's only two guards outside and we kill them immediately, we take their weapons. And uh, now once we out, uh, I tell my man to try to, instead of fighting them and attacking them, we need to be sneaky and we need to go to the boat and escape. Mm -hmm. on the boat and that's uh, that's what we do so we leave we leave at the uh, with the boat and uh they they uh they realize and now i see them scrambling at the shore but uh we cut all the boats off all the boats they had we cut them so mm -hmm. they they're drifting away, so they have no boats to chase us. And we're, we're, we're back on the sea. Mm -hmm. They can't do anything to us now. Very good. But there are still people that you left behind that might be in danger? No, we took our, all our, all our people are with us. Mm -hmm. Very good. Some so died in that prison, but I... I could not take them. We don't take uh, the bodies, the soul left. So where do you go next? We're going back to our land. We need to recharge. We need to get back on our feet, be strong. Mm -hmm. It's burned to the ground. All this livestock is killed, it's slaughtered. It's only a bunch of dead bodies everywhere. What it's not looking to... good, but we have to gather ourselves and we have to get back on our feet. Mm -hmm. these, these people, they attack us. They killed our people. Do you know who? The same people who captured me. Mm -hmm. This is the same, we came back to the same place, to the same village. And mm -hmm. The bodies are still there. Animals are feeding on the, the wild animals. So, yeah, we are angry, really angry. Feel the anger within my whole body, rage. Mm -hmm. But I need, I need to recover. I want, I know I need to recover. Everybody needs to recover. Everybody has to refuel themselves. And so we, we are getting, uh, we're gathering some food and making fire and People will have to sleep outside tonight and then we'll get to work tomorrow and to make shelter and actually over the night I changed my mind. We have to leave from this place. We cannot make a shelter here. Mm -hmm. We have to make a new. And, I, and uh, we go and look through the bodies and uh, we see who's there, who, who died, and who's missing. And my wife is missing, and my sh child is missing. They're not there, so that's a good sign. They're not among the dead people. Mm -hmm. So that's a good sign. It's a very good sign. Do you intend to leave without the missing people? At this time we have to because we don't know where they are, at, but they can't be far. They can't be far. They're, I'm sure they're hiding somewhere. They might be hiding in the mountains, in the caves. There are caves nearby. 
Do you have some sort of plan and agreement <laughs> between you guys if something like this happens, how you would find each other? Well, that's the thing. We never had anything like that happen before. Mm -hmm. That's why we were so unprepared. Mm -hmm. But this will never happen again. So now uh, I gather the men and uh, we take what we can from the leftovers and uh, we go into the mountains, into the caves. Because that's the safest. And once we arrive there, there's there's more people of our tribe there. My wife is there, with my son. They're already there. I'm so proud of her, she's so strong. So moving ahead now, let's see what happens next. It takes, uh, takes some time to recover from all of this. We have to process a lot of trees to be able to build our homes again and and to be able to build the ships again. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of hard work. But we're doing this, it takes time, but we're doing it. It takes a whole year. Mm -hmm. to recover and get everything in uh, in order and uh, once we feel stronger we go and we we have to contact other tribes from our lands and we have to get together with them in order to protect ourselves from this other invaders. So we gather three tribes. And now we have a lot of weapons, a lot of men, and a lot of ships. Mm -hmm. And now we're going, we are going back there to show them. Mm -hmm. We will kill everybody. We're not going to spare anybody. So just for clarity, you went to this other place and invaded that place. And then was it the same people that came to invade your place? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. This revenge. Mm -hmm. I see. And we go there and we, we destroy them. We mm -hmm. take them slaves. We don't live, we don't leave any, anybody behind. We kill their king, we take over. We leave some women, but, uh, and some old men, but we kill all the children. Mm -hmm. So they don't come up with a revenge later. Mm -hmm. I see. And uh, we leave some women because the men wanted them. So, so we will we'll have our own. We'll build another tribe on their land mm -hmm. with their women. We'll mix the blood. And mm -hmm. We'll have our, our people here. Mm -hmm. And our people are... Our people are really strong and big, bigger than these others, native people here. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they're so small, but they're kind of smaller than us. Don't That's you think why. That mixing with the women of this other tribe might make your people smaller and weaker? Um, uh, it's just few women and the man wanted them and I don't that doesn't concern me. Our blood is so strong. We, our genes are so strong that it's just 
It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It's more us than them and we will prevail. We make ourselves home there and I bring more of people from different tribes from our land and give them land in this new place. And they create the new kingdoms. And it's our traditions, our gods, our blood. We always succeed. We always succeed. Very good. Now let's move ahead to the next significant moment in that lifetime. Going there now, free, drifting and floating, moving ahead in time, two and one. And tell me what's going on. I'm older and my son is so... Uh... My son is about 17, 16, 17, and he, he's becoming a man now. And uh, he's gonna go with me for another trip. And this is, uh, he's been trained in f all sorts of fighting. He's a strong young man, and uh, we're going for another raid. We're going to raid these people. Now we're going kind of uh, northwest to the Germanic lands. Going to take them over. And uh, we raid this village something small town and uh, my son is really I'm proud of him he's really good and that's that we are tell me about the Germanic people how do they come across to you they uh they're more like us, they're not, uh, we are, uh, we can relate to them more, but uh, they have, they already have their weird religion with where they just don't understand, it's stupid, they, they put some, their God on the cross, it's just stupid. Could they put the guy on the cross and pray to him to a weak, dead, dead, dying man? They're praying to it. I don't see their God helping them. Mm -hmm. This is ridiculous. I don't see their God anywhere. They just they surround themselves with all these crosses and gold and jewels and they say that this is for the God but I see no God their God doesn't care about them we just take their gold we take their gold we slaughter their priests and we take slaves, we sell them. These people are stupid. We we don't have respect for their God. Mm -hmm. this How is, do they this... treat you as you come into their land? Do they try to resist? Yeah, they try to resist. They 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 heard of us. Mm -hmm. They 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 know who we are. They know. When they see us, they, they run. And there's a lot of uh, people are so stupid. They, their religion is so stupid. They go to these uh, 
these places of worship and they worship this god on the cross and they leave their weapons outside the door <laughs> we take their weapons that's just so easy these people are idiots we just come in and we we just take whatever we don't even have to do anything anymore we just take their weapons we take their gold which is we don't even feel like killing them anymore. They're just so stupid. <laughs> so there's no need to even fight them, I guess. Or have you fought they them? They just give up. The, the... Mm -hmm. Well, we, we fought them before. We fought them mm -hmm. before. There are some men who don't want to be... I guess they, they don't agree with this uh, worshipping... Uh, that guy on the cross. Uh, it's just funny to me. Yeah, but we had to, yeah, we had to, we usually slaughter the man and just in case. And uh, it's just getting to the point that we don't have to. We come on a certain day of the week and their, their weapon is outside the building and we just take it. And, I mean, we have so many slaves by now and we know we can come back here and just take more. How is it that you keep your slaves and that you keep them from running away or revolting? That's the thing, they're, they are like that. They don't, they have so much fear in them. They're afraid of everything. They're afraid of the nature. They're afraid of dying. They're afraid of everything. It's so easy to have them as slaves. Mm -hmm. I just, uh, we take them and we sell them to other tribes and we, and they, they, they just don't want to leave. Mm -hmm. I don't have to, I, I don't even have to have them They're, they're walking free. They're, they're not going anywhere. They're, and plus, they know they're not going to make it. Mm -hmm. If they leave, they're not going to make it. They're so afraid of everything. Very Their God nice. doesn't help them. What kind of God is this? <laughs> Who is nailed to the cross and they're just... If you're praying to a weakness, you're never going to get the strength. Mm -hmm. So their, their belief is their downfall. They're afraid of everything. Mm -hmm. We take the nature and the nature is with us. The nature is, our gods are with us. They fuel us with their power. We ride the waves, and these people are afraid of everything. They just hide and shiver, and I have no respect. But that's okay. Apparently, we need slaves, so we're just going to have them, and this way we can uh, our women are strong as well. Our women fight. Our women know the weapon, how to how to make weapon. Our women are strong, and they they know how to control the slaves. Mm -hmm. And this way, we can go and conquer more, because we know the women will take care of everything. Is there? some benefits in the land for you? Yeah, they have really good grounds, uh, really good fertile, but uh, we're, we're not, uh, we're going to have some of our people just take over, live there and bring our traditions and stuff. What we're interested in is the horses. Mm -hmm. We bring the horses. What kind and, uh, of horses 
Are you gonna take the horses back to your land? Uh, yeah, we have to plan this because now uh, we arrived here on the boat through a river and uh, we can take the horses on the boat. So we will find a way of bringing the horses to, through the land. And uh, these people have, uh, like we, uh, we use the stars, we use the nature to guide us. And uh, we got uh, some uh, tools, technology, you would say, from the, the Arabic people. We got some stuff from them. And uh, we are getting better and better with navigating our way through the seas and the land. And uh, by night we're doing this by looking at the stars and by day we have a device. It's a sundial mm -hmm. and this device helps to give you the directions and this way you know how to where to travel how to where to go and we're gonna uh we're going to bring more men our men over here to take over and then we're going to travel through the land with the horses to our land. It's going to be a long travel, but we can do it. And uh, I already selected the man who will be doing that. What about your son? Is he staying or is he coming back with you? He is uh, with me. Mm -hmm. I'm training him in the watching the stars and how to navigate. He has a lot to learn. And uh, he's learning and uh, I don't want him to go, I don't, I am, um, this is my only son and uh, I'm really careful to make sure that he knows uh, all the ways of fighting, all the way of uh, hunting, all the way of surviving. Like he knows, he needs to know all of it before I let him lead, a, be a leader at a trip or any raid or anything like that. He's strong, he's, he's getting there, he's, uh, but he needs a little bit more wisdom. Very good, now closing that scene, Moving ahead in time, see what happens. What is the next significant and important moment in that lifetime? Three, two, and one. Tell me what's going on. It's a ceremony or sacrifice to Odin. We're giving a sacrifice to the gods. Why? Any reasons? Particular? That's our tradition. Mm -hmm. It's our tradition, and uh, and we also conquered new land, and we we are sacrificing. Is this some kind of yearly tradition, or is there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good. Tell me about the sacrifice. What what? is the ritual like? We have many rituals, but uh, this particular one is sacrificing a human. Mm -hmm. It's not our own, it's uh, so 
we're not even in our, on our land as, as we're doing this. We are in England. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're sacrificing this, the leader of this mm -hmm. people. And he is a coward. In our tradition, when uh, a man is about to move on to the other side, he faces it with a smile. And this one, it's pathetic. He's crying. I'm pretty much sure that he he soiled his pants. Mm -hmm. It's disgusting. He's being t tortured and he's his organs are being taken out of him. Mm -hmm. It's not a pretty sight. You don't want to. Uh, I see that these people here are, they're not used to any of that. They're, you, you could tell that they are really scared. But that's, again, that's their belief. That's their issue. We're not afraid of things like that. And uh, he was a coward. He's, he's not even going to go to He's not going to rejoice. He's with his God. So tell me about this land and the people that live here. What are they like? They have a lot of gold and treasure. It seems like that's uh, very important to them and uh, they bring a lot of that to their uh, churches, they call churches, mm -hmm. the places of worship. And uh, the land has a meaning to them, the gold and the silver and the, the gems have meaning to them. Seems like that's, that has the most meaning to them, which is strange because it's supposed to be God, but I guess, yeah, they they cannot really pray to somebody who is uh, and ask for help, who is who's dying on its own. <laughs> I can't believe this. This religion makes me laugh. I've, I've never seen such a thing. Even the the Arabs had a better religion. Anyway, they. Uh, yeah, they, they like their gold, so we take their gold, why not? And uh, they're weak and they're, they're just, their bodies look dish, like, they look like they don't do much. Mm -hmm. The people in villages, yes, they look healthy and normal, but the people in their towns, are pudgy and ugly and have no muscle and they're just lazy. In those countries, the people are weak. Yes, they're weak and they, oh, by this weakness, we can conquer them much easier because we take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. And I invited, uh, I invited more tribes from the lands taking over their towns, their villages, and converting them into our beliefs, our religion. They, they have no, no way of de defending themselves. They're just weak. Mm -hmm. So this is, the, this is the time when we, we conquer the most. We, we go to England, we go farther to these other islands, we go to Europe, we go to the 
Portugal, we go to Spain, we go to the Italians, the Arabs, we conquer all of them. It's an amazing feeling. And how old is your son now? 24. Mm -hmm. Very good. And he's a really strong, brave warrior. It's time for him to get a wife. And uh, we uh, usually our marriages are kind of arranged. But it, there has to be the, um, we plan this that we get with the other clan and uh, we discuss and we, we invite the, the young ones who are supposed to be married and we see if they're, they're match, if they're happy, if they want this. If they don't, we don't go for it because that's mm -hmm. a bad sign, that's a bad omen. So we respect their will as well, even though it seems to be arranged. And uh, uh, there is a rule of uh, if you are in the higher caste, sort of to say, like I am, you don't, uh, you marry uh, within clans, but you don't marry these, uh, you don't marry these Arabs or these, uh, Spaniards or any of those, you don't, you marry your own mm -hmm. from a different clan, but uh, so that's what happens. We have a celebration. My son is so uh, marrying this uh, beautiful daughter of my friend. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we have a celebration and uh, this is a very joyful time for me and my wife and my son. Very happy. Very happy for him. And this this just shows me how how short our time is on this land. But I'm joyful. I'm joyful. And I bless them. I bless him and his wife. Very good. good. Moving ahead now in time. See what happens next. See if there is anything significant. Three, two, one. And tell me what's going on now. Um, I'm dying. How old are you? I, uh, this is, uh, there's an axe in my chest. We are on the one of the raids and uh, I'm dying. I, my lungs are collapsing from this. My heart is weaker and weaker, and I'm dying. Very and I see my son. My son finds me. We're on the. We're outside. It's. It's a lot of people dying. And I see him crying. And he says, "Father, don't go. Don't leave me yet." But it's too late. I'm, I'm separating. I'm dying. What's going on through your mind as this is happening? It was so short. I didn't want to die yet. Mm -hmm. But I'm being called. I'm 
being caused back. Very good. Allow yourself to disconnect from that body. Disconnecting now. Very good. And tell me what happens next. What do you see? My body is being put on a boat. And uh, they're, it's a ceremony. They're making a... This boat is going to burn. So they're, they're making sure that there's enough of like a f material like wood and stuff so it uh, reaches a good uh, temperature. And they're, they say goodbye to me and they set the boat on fire and push it into the water. And the boat burns with my body on it and this integrates and it sinks. That's, that's what we do. My spirit mm -hmm. is up there watching it. And I'm, all of a sudden I'm being pulled, I'm being pulled up. Very good. What is pulling you? I don't know. It's a force. Mm -hmm. Like I'm being pulled like a magnet up. Mm -hmm. Is this what is supposed to happen according to your belief system? I guess so. I'm just going with it. I'm just mm -hmm. letting it be. Very good. And as you're being pulled, tell me what happens next. I see my mother and my father who passed years ago mm -hmm. and they're, 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 they're like greeting me um, and I'm asking, did you call me here? And they say, no, the God called you. Mm -hmm. Why have you been called back so early? Why? They say it's it's my time. They say that it was time for my son to take over. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they're saying that I have other, that I'm gonna find out I have, they need me, they want me back. I don't know, I don't understand, I don't know. But I see, I see more of my friends. I see my friends. I see all those who perished on their, on their travels. What do you notice they're about here. them? They're here, they look good, they look healthy. They're, they're smiling at me, they're inviting me, they're like, happy to see me and uh, I'm being pulled into a like we're celebrating it's a party it's a, it's a party very good how do you feel about the life that you've left behind as you look back upon it it was a really good life mm -hmm. Do you I feel that it. you've accomplished everything that you wanted to accomplish? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. Now from this different perspective, perhaps you can tell me what the purpose of that life was. Why you needed to experience that lifetime. It was a lesson in leadership and I was to be the strong leader and I succeeded. And uh, I also learned that uh, if you're afraid, you taking your power away from yourself. Mm -hmm. You're letting weakness in and 
that's not something you need. You don't want that. Mm -hmm. So I, by observing those other people, I learned that uh, fear will destroy you. That's I never experienced fear. And why is um, it that this lifetime has been shown to you today? I get, I get to not to be afraid. There's nothing to be afraid of. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's only up to you how much you can conquer. And it's, this is the conquering. It's not, uh, it's not in this negative way. It's not in this uh, primitive way. This conquer is, uh, it's more about being adventurous, open-minded for this life. Mm -hmm. There is no need to wave your sword or learn how to kill people. You don't need that. You just need the brave, feel brave from inside. There's nothing to be afraid of. Mm -hmm. Nothing. 